Welcome to another segment of On the Road. Today we're in Minnesota. In fact, we're at Stillwater, Minnesota, and we're going to do a little Wine 101 education. Um, maybe when you're in the store, you'll notice the wines. So maybe you'll actually see that percentage um, alcohol on the bottle. Um, sometimes you'll see table wine. And a lot of people are get confused about what, what does this term table wine really mean when you're buying wine at the store. And what, what that means, it's really kind of shorthand um, for wineries because when you're bottling wine, you actually, each time you create a label, you have to put um, the percent alcohol. Now, a way to work around that is that if I, each time I do a production, maybe I make it the same wine three or four times a year, and maybe the alcohol level changes a little bit. Well, if the alcohol level changes a little bit, you can actually have to create new labels that show the percentage of alcohol on that new label. So that gets expensive, as you might imagine. Um, one way to work around that is the, um, the organization that kind of governs wine production, the federal government, um, has a shortcut term called table wine. Now, for a wine to be called table wine, it has to be between 7% and 14% alcohol. Now, that's a lot easier to put on a label, so if your alcohol levels changes a little bit with each production, you're not, have, you're not having to create new labels for a wine. So, when you go into a store and you see table wine, does that mean you have to drink it at a table? Nah, of course not. Um, table wine just means that it's, uh, it's wine, and it's between 7 and 14% alcohol, and it's probably pretty good. So table wine is just shorthand for it's wine, it's 7 to 14% alcohol. Just a little wine 101 for you today from uh, Northern Vineyards in Stillwater, Minnesota. Cheers from Wine Diamonds and On the Road.